CPQ general knowledge 1. What is CPQ and why is it important? Answer. CPQ stands for configure, price, quote. CPQ makes up one part of the sales process and is part of the larger quote to cash, lead to cash process within an organization. It can span multiple teams including, sales, legal, finance, and sales operations. Having a well-configured CPQ tool is essential for sales and operations teams to create accurate quotes with correctly configured products and pricing. 2. What is a bundle? Answer. A bundle is a logical grouping of products that are sold together and form a single quote line item. For example, if you buy an entertainment package from a media provider, you may receive multiple services such as phone, internet, and television services, but you will pay for a single product, the entertainment package. The same concept applies in Salesforce CPQ. Products can be sold together as part of a bundle or standalone. Bundles can have complex logic applied to them through product and price rules. 3. What is a product rule? Answer. Product rules are used to enforce specific configurations either at the bundle level or the quote level. There are four types of product rules. Validation, selection, alert, and filter. Validation. Prevents a user from saving an incompatible quote, bundle configuration. Alert. Notifies users of important information but does not prevent the user from saving the quote. Selection. Automatically selects, deselects, shows, or hides products based on defined parameters. Filter. Used in dynamic search filters which will automatically filter the product catalog. 4. What is a price rule? Answer. Price rules are a very versatile tool that can be used to ensure products are priced correctly. Price rules can also be used to inject a static value, field value, or summary variable into a quote or quote line field. This means they can be used for more than just pricing use cases. Price rules can have a condition, or multiple conditions, defined to tell the system when to apply the price action, but conditions are not essential. 5. What is a summary variable and how is it different from a roll-up summary? Answer. Summary variables summarize number fields, such as quantity or price, and allow you to define criteria for the summary such as product code or product family. Summary variables run specifically within the quote line editor and the value is not retained in the system once the calculation is performed. This means you are not contributing to the limit for roll-up summary fields on objects. 25 in most cases but can be increased to 40. Roll-up summary fields behave in the same way, but the value is not calculated until the record is saved, whereas summary variables are calculated within the quote line editor and are usually used for the purposes of triggering product or price rules. A good example would be if you are offering a discount on all quotes over a certain threshold let's say $1,000. You would define a summary variable to add up the gross amount of all quote line items, and if the value is over $1,000, then a price rule could be triggered to automatically apply a 50% discount to the entire quote. Note, you can retain the value by using a price rule to populate the value into a field on the quote or quote line. 6. Explain the difference between a subscription product and a one-time product. Answer. Subscription product, a product that generates recurring revenue for example software license, ongoing service subscription, a product which is leased or rented, etc. One-time product, a product that generates revenue once for example a physical good that is sold rather than rented or leased, a perpetual software license, a fee for implementation services, etc. 7. What are CPQ twin fields? Answer. Salesforce CPQ twin fields automatically map data between two fields on different CPQ objects. Typically, data from quote line records needs to be copied to resulting subscription records, order product records, and opportunity product records, at the very least. Admins simply need to create the same field type with the same API name on every object, 
and the system will copy the value upon the record's creation. 8. Why are the following global settings important? Answer. Subscription prorate precision Subscription prorate precision defines how the system will calculate any non-whole terms for subscription products e.g. if the term is 6 months and 3 days, how the system will calculate the price for a subscription product with a yearly price. The options are day, calendar monthly plus daily, day with calendar month weighted, monthly and month plus daily. Each produces a slightly different calculation, and this setting applies to every quote in the system. A detailed breakdown of each setting is available here for more information. Re-evaluate bundle logic on renewals. This setting is important as it defines if bundles are re-evaluated upon renewal. This means if you have changed the structure, rules, or price of a bundle between the time it was first sold to the time of renewal, it clarifies whether the system should apply the new rules, structure and or pricing or have the bundle remain the same as when the customer first bought it. Let's use the entertainment package example from earlier as an example. If a customer purchased a bundle during a promotion and they got a great price, plus the movie and sports package included for free, should the bundle be re-evaluated by the system when the customer's package is up for renewal? If yes, this global setting should be checked. This will apply across all bundle products in the system. Preserve bundle structure. This setting is important because it preserves the structure of a bundle when contracts are amended. Without this setting enabled, bundled line items will be translated to individual line items and will not be related to the parent product when a contract is generated. This means if the contract is amended in future, the original bundle structure will not be in place. This is a global setting and will apply to all quotes. 9. What are contracted prices? Answer. Contracted prices are related to a specific account and override the regular price of a quote line, based on a special price the customer has agreed. Contracted prices apply in the special price field which is part of the CPQ price waterfall. Contracted prices will get pro-rated in amendment scenarios. 10. What are contract amendments? Answer. Contract amendments are used to upsell or cross-sell an existing customer during their existing contract term. For example, a user sells 10 software licenses to a customer for a one-year term, starting the 1st of January 1 and ending December 31st. In March, the customer comes back to you for five more licenses. The user would create a contract amendment to sell the five extra licenses from March to December rather than starting a new contract from March to February. Using contract amendments ensures all subscription products renew on the same date, making it easy to handle renewals when the time comes. 11. Explain the difference between products and product options. Answer. Products are the records that hold specifics such as product name, product code, product description, etc. Product options are records related to two product records, the configured SKU, the parent or bundle product, and the product record that holds the option itself. An example would be as follows. The parent product is the solar controller hub. The product options are items like the solar panels and mounting kits. Product option records are related to two product records, the configured SKU, solar controller hub, an optional SKU, solar panel, mounting kits, etc. Product records which are not to be sold outside a bundle must have the field, component, checked. This removes them from the product catalog. 12. Explain the difference between a quote and an order. Answer. Although the records contain a lot of the same information, Quotes are used to create proposals for the prospect or customer and will contain things like optional products, quote terms and can be used to capture a signature. Orders are created by sales ops or the finance team and are used to prepare invoices for the customer based on what they have purchased. Data from the primary quote will flow downstream to the order record such as account name, opportunity name, quote lines, order products, etc. but could contain additional financial information such as billing period and VAT number, etc. In many cases, the quote and order will be exactly the same. Thanks for watching Salesforce Start.